Hi, welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the drop stitch for your knit. Now this is a stitch that was used in the Learn a Stitch Make a Cowl series hosted by Red Heart, and it's actually used in the Knitted Drop Stitch Cowl. You can find that pattern and many more over at redheart.com. Now I know that you're thinking right now, Marley, why are you gonna have me drop stitches? I've been trying so hard this whole time to keep my stitches on my needle, and that's hard enough. Trust me, the way I'm gonna show you how to do this, it's really super easy, and it's a lot of fun to see these stitches um, manifest as they drop off your needle. So join me right here, and I'm gonna show you exactly what it is you're going to be making, okay? If we look down here, you can see that I have the drop stitch cowl in front of me. Um, this is made using Red Heart With Love yarn in the color Beachy. This is a variegated yarn, and so all of these color changes here done within the drop stitches or within the garter section of the pattern are done with one yarn. So all the work is done in the yarn. You don't have to do anything. Now that's not to say you don't have to, uh, or that you have to use a variegated yarn. You do not. You can absolutely make this with a solid color, or if you decide that you want to change colors on your own to get a certain color sequence that you prefer that works better with your wardrobe, you can totally do that. So I'm going to show you how to do the stitch pattern, and that way you can go off and make this cow all by yourself, okay? So the first thing I need you to do is I need you to download the pattern, and it's over there at redheart.com. And again, this is called the Drop Stitch Knit Cowl. There's a link right there on your screen so that you can uh, get directly to the pattern right now. Once you have the pattern, grab some size nine needles and some worsted weight yarn. Again, this is made using Red Heart With Love. And in the pattern, you'll see that it says to cast on 45 stitches. Now, I've only cast on 20 stitches to be able to show you something in a little bit miniature scale uh, to save time a little bit on YouTube because, you know, time is, time is a luxury that not all of us have. So let's, let's spend as little of it as we can um, having me show you what to do. So I've went ahead, I've cast on 20 stitches, and then I knit six rows, as the instructions told me to do. Then I went ahead and I did row seven and eight, which allowed me to create create these elongated drop stitches. And so I, after I did that, I went ahead, I knit another six rows and I'm back to my row seven and eight again. So that's what I'm going to show you to uh, show you right now is how to do these elongated stitches. Okay. So right now, the first thing the instructions tell you to do is to knit two stitches. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go in and I'm going to just knit two stitches. Okay. Now the instructions tell me to yarn over twice. So for a yarn over, all you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn, you're going to go from, from back to the front to the back again over top of your right hand needle. And then I'm going to use my pointer finger to hold that in place just because it seems it, it just helps me. And then I go from back to the front and back over again to create my yarn over. Okay, now I'm gonna take those off real quick because I'm gonna show you how to do that with the yarn in my right hand because I know that some of you are not continental knitters and having my yarn in the left hand might throw you off a little bit. So here I am, all I'm going to do for a yarn over is I have my yarn here, I'm going from the back to the front to the back, that's one. I'm gonna use my thumb to hold it. From the back to the front to the back, there's two. So now I have two extra stitches laying on there. I would carry on in pattern and it says to go ahead and knit one stitch. And then I would yarn over twice again. So one more time, I have my yarns in the back. I go from the back to the front to the back. That's one from the back to the front to the back. That's two. Then I have to go ahead and I do a knit one and I repeat that all the way down the row. You'll see in the pattern that it has the asterisk and the asterisk means that you need to repeat from star, um, from the star to the last two stitches, which will be two knits. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go down this whole row doing um, a knit one and then yarn over two. So there's my knit one, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go back to Continental. That is my preferred method of knitting, so I will actually go faster if I do it that way. So I've knit one, I'm gonna yarn over one, yarn over two, and then I knit one. Yarn over one, yarn over two, 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 knit one. Again, I'm just doing this all down the row and you will be doing this on your actual cowl 
So you'll be doing this several times where I'm only do, or you'll be doing this exactly 45 times, um, or there'll be 45 stitches for you. I'm only doing this on 20 stitches. Um, the reason again, I'm only doing 20 stitches is because I wanted to make sure that I could get through this in a fairly timely manner. Uh, that way you don't have to be here in front of your, your computer or your uh, smartphone or however it is you're watching these videos today. So here I'm, I am at the end, I've knit one and then I've yarned over two. And so now I'm left to my last two stitches. And in the instructions, it said that it wanted me to knit these last two stitches. So I'm just going to knit the last two stitches. Now I'm at the end of my row. I'm going to set this down so that you can see what's going on here. And I have all of a sudden more than 20 stitches on here, right? You're going to get done with your row. You're going to have more than 45 stitches. The reason is for every knit stitch we did, we did two yarn overs. And then we knit one and we had two yarn overs. So we've increased our stitches um, by two for every one stitch. So we have where there was just one before, now we have three. What's really cool is on this next row, what we're gonna do is we're gonna knit all the ones that we did knit before, and the yarn overs that we created, we're just gonna let those fall off the needle. And that's what's gonna create the, um, the drop stitch effect. So here I am, I'm gonna pick up my work, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna switch hands, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna knit two stitches, so I'm going in, I'm gonna do this with my right hand again, holding the yarn in my right hand. So I've knit one, and then I knit two. Now here we are, we're to the two yarn overs. Can you see them? See how they look like they're just extra wraps on the needle and they aren't really anything special to them. Uh, if you weren't doing this on purpose, you would say, oh, I just, I just made a mistake there. What do I do, what do I do? Well, here's the cool thing is we didn't make a mistake. This is what we wanna do. So we're just gonna let these stitches just fall off. So there was one and there's two. See, now we have this long thing just hanging out there totally fine that's what we want that's going to be our long stitch our drop stitch so now i go ahead and i knit that next stitch and i'm back to two yarn overs so i drop those off i come over here drop those off and i knit the next stitch i'm going to do this all the way down the row wherever there were yarn overs i let them fall off and i knit all the way down the row okay so those are yarn overs i'm going to let those fall off and i knit the next one once you do this all the way down the row, what's gonna happen, I'm gonna set this down so that you don't have to watch me go through the whole row for this. You can already see that I'm getting these elongated stitches right there. They're already coming out. And then they're gonna match the ones that I did down here. Now, after I, I go through this whole row and I drop off all of my yarn overs, the next uh, part of the instructions tell you to repeat rows uh, one through eight again, so you'll knit six rows, which creates the nice garter ridge, and then you're back to your drop stitches. Now here's a little, a little note that I find really helpful. I always get lost a little bit when I'm working along doing just basic knit rows because you know I have kids and they, they distract me and so I, I lose track of where I am all the time. And I can tell you that for the ridges here, you're gonna end up with three and a half ridges. Let me pull the cowl back in here. I'm gonna set that one out of the way. You can see with these ridges, if we have our drop stitches right here, okay, and then this is our row eight where we finish them, then we have six rows. So there's one, two is that ridge, three, four is that ridge, five, six is that ridge. So you end up having these four ridges. Does that make sense? So if you're going along, you're like, I'm not sure, have I finished all of my six rows or not? Look down and if you have one, two, three, and this one is partially done where the next row is gonna be your yarn over row, you are on track. That's exactly where you wanna be. So that's my big tip on how to keep track of your ridges and then your drop stitches. Okay, now you know how to do the drop stitch for knitting and I'm excited to see all of your drop stitch knit cowls you make out there. Don't forget that you can get the pattern for free over at redheart.com as well as all of the supplies you need for this project. It's really super easy. Right below the pattern, it gives you a list of all the items that you will need for this particular project. You can click on it and order it and have it shipped directly to your house so there is um, no, no trouble finding the right yarn, the right needle or anything like that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit subscribe or better yet, smash that like button as my kids say. I'll talk to you guys soon. This is Marley Bird for redheart.com. Bye.